Jimmy O here in San Francisco, one of the most gorgeous cities in the world, and I'm here to interview the cast of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, one of the coolest flicks of the summer. I want to start this with the, the, the family dynamic here, which mm. is very rarely done as well as it is here. Mm. How did you two especially approach that, as, you, as well as you, how did you approach that when you read the script? Uh, I just feel like Matt really helped with that. I think Matt Reeves, who directed it, who I've known for a really long time, just um, I think that's what he does really well, is create really intimate emotional moments. Of, he loves when people are vulnerable and trying to be brave. And, mm -hmm. um, and he, I feel like he's really good at not overplaying something or overwriting it. And, um, and I think that combination with a big summer movie is a good one. It's um, unusual. Yeah, and I think that's what I liked about this movie. And um, But as far as the family moments, um, I just think Matt takes the time and really tries to work out what feels real and what feels brave and vulnerable. I, I think mm. that's what he's always searching for. From 12 years ago, that's what he was searching for, and that's what he's still searching for in this, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you go to Planet of the Apes, it's all, you know, planet, community, you know, I mean, it's all the, that, that circle that goes around until you finally get to nuclear fam, you know? and it just reverberates out at him and Matt had the smarts to really identify it very clearly early on in the film and, and, and play it out. I mean you've got Caesar's son and his newborn son and and you see Alex and our son mm -hmm. you know and then you see Gary you know Dreyfus is later on. I mean it's it's continually echoed there in, in terms of you know this is a large community of sorts and we're going to break it down how it can go and, and really get to the heart of it. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. yeah, it's real, it, it's family, real uh, uh, community and family, which is sort of under a microscope in, in this big uh, franchise. Yeah, yeah. That, and that it's, it's got a real delicate, sort of, a very delicate touch. Um, uh, more, more so, and there's logic. Matt is very sort of, detailed about certain <laughs> that 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 thing if you really think about when the power comes on and if you if you if you were to like look at it in a very very sort of linear kind of line you go here's the power that comes on and this is this is when my iPad charges and the time that you know it's not just uh, ah well people won't know it's only a movie, you know. He's he's very meticulous mm. Mm. and detail-oriented. Well, he also made some very interesting decisions, which I think work with, especially your character. There are no real villains here. This is yeah. not a villain. This yeah. is someone who's trying to make the best of a situation and yeah. save. Well, look, action. you know, yeah. Look, I'm trying to save humanity, yeah. and I know that we all you even say that. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to save humanity, and I mean. Look, you know, there's a bridge behind me that you can't see, but someone came up with that in their, out of their head. A human, and built it. Cedar Sinai Hospital, penicillin, Albert Einstein. Some things are just better, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to save the human race. The hell with the apes, <laughs> the humans, are, you know, I mean, that's just, yeah. that's just, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, Gary and, and they talked about it. I mean, it was obvious it would have been very easy for, you know, Dreyfus to be that identifiable figure, but they worked very, and it, and it just continually is, is proved right as you watch the film. Yeah, I mean, we all do things, this, that, and it's, it's not straightforward at any level, but what Matt's been able to do is, 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 is take you along through the intimacy of the film and, and help you understand it so we can go, I know where that person's coming from. You know, I really, I'm going to listen here and see what's going even on. We all, even we're all, Koba, I feel like yeah, it yeah. was all, I think Absolutely. that's what Matt did. I, I Human feel like they were, they were just thing, trying, you know, all these scars, both your yeah. character and Koba, it was protection. It was like, no, 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 I'm protecting, I'm protecting. It didn't, and we're also really mis, we're misdirecting, I suppose. Yes, fear. Because of our hurt, struggle yeah, and our yeah. pain, we're yeah. misdirecting it where, you know, Koba says, look, humans did this to me, humans did that to me. Obviously, later on, you find out my tragedy. Yeah. It's, it's of course you're going to carry, yeah, 
you know, a thing without saying, actually, they probably, if it wasn't for these people, this, these, these apes or the, this, this thing over here, then my family would still be with me.